Hello everybody. Today we're gonna look at the uh, alignment of a stereo pair. So this is a stereo pair I have just loaded. It comes from a Fuji Fuji W3. Uh, what what to say? So we're gonna tr we're gonna align this one. So the first thing you do is that you have to make sure that in your preferences, so I go to edit, preferences, adjustment tab, make sure, and this is very important, if you want good alignment. If you don't care, then don't check it. But make sure that the better precision slow is checked. Otherwise, the quality of your alignment is not going to be that good. And it's not that much slower anyway, so you should always check that thing. Better precision slow. Okay, that being said, let's do a alignment. So adjust, auto alignment. Do you want to use the previous report file? I, uh, I already aligned, but I'm going to redo again, so no. So this image is about uh, 3000 pixel times 2000, so it's about 6 megapixels. Okay, so let's close this and let's look at the quality of the alignment. So we're going to go into gray and ugly display and the view is going to be normal size and I'm going to just look at a few things to see if they are aligned. So let's look at the top right corner and if we look at this area for instance it's it's not quite aligned, I mean it's close but not quite so now let's go to the top left corner, see what happened there. So let's look maybe around here, the chimney and that antenna thing. So let's see, uh, it's pretty good but not quite there. You can see that. Uh, that chimney also is not quite a line, that one also. So now let's go down bottom left. Let's go up a bit and let's see here. It's not quite a line. Okay, so now let's go to the lower right corner. We can look at those flowers here. And again, it's close, but it's not quite right. Uh, we can look at other things. Um, uh, like the boat looks okay. The boat looks okay. I mean, it's pretty close. It's pretty close, like this window. It's close, but it's not quite right. It's not, but it's very close for that. This is good. This is good. These are good. These are good. So all in all, it's pretty, pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to run ER9B on the on the same uh, stereo pair and see what we get. So this is the directory where I'm, where I'm running ER9B on the same set of uh, input images, so this one and that one. And I'm going to just double click on this one to run ER9B. 
the input file you can look at it but there's not much going on this is the left image and that's the right image and this is going to be the output left and right and uh, this you don't care all right so let's run it it takes a while so um, so i don't know if i'm gonna speed up or not so what it does is that it 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 tries to find the uh, features in the left image and features in the right image and then it's gonna match them it's gonna get rid of outliers and then it's gonna compute the uh, all the rotations So here he has found the, fixture, the features in each image and now he's probably matching them. That's what takes a long time. Okay, so here he's found about 5,000 matches between the two images and now he's gonna get rid of outliers. So now we only have 4,300 matches and it's going to go down oh, 42, 42, 45 remaining so he's done filtering the outliers and now he's computing the homographies so it's almost done not quite So, if after that you want to compute the depth map, this is the uh, minimum disparity, maximum disparity that you should input to like D Mac 5 or whatever. Okay, so it's done. So now let's look at the. Let's go back into Stereo Photo Maker and I'm gonna load. the result, the output from ER9B so now I just have to find it hold on so it's going to be on the pictures this one, this one and it's going to be output this one so of course you have a rotation that is very noticeable so it's a bit of a problem when you have an horizon but if the goal is to create a depth map it doesn't really matter because you can always uh, rotate the depth map after the facts so anyway let's look let's look at the so let's go upper right so now you are very well aligned on that church steeple. Let's go to the other side. So now you are very well aligned as well on that chimney, this area, and the antenna. That chimney is very well aligned. Same here, so now we can go down, lower left. So let's look at this. So again, you are very well aligned. Here you are a little bit off. Little bit off. Okay, now let's go lower right. I think I was looking at those flowers. And those flowers outlined pretty well and then we can look at the rest uh, let's see I think we looked at the boat or oh, the boat is okay the window here is 
it's good that window is good so all that stuff is good you don't see any blurring which means that they match exactly so here you go so so what else what else to say about alignment well I mean if you're gonna if the goal is to create a dev map you should always try to get the best alignment possible so in that case I would recommend using ER9B in lieu of Stereo Photomaker uh, the fact that the, uh, the horizon might get disturbed not a big deal because you can after the fact always rotate your depth map so not a problem when you do depth map when you want to align just for the 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 pleasure of of looking at uh, uh, like side by side pairs in that case i would recommend using stereo photomaker and its alignment procedure always using the better slower algorithm so that's my take I know with ER9B there was going to be somebody that is going to complain and say oh my horizon is not straight it's not horizontal anymore oh no 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 big deal when you do this map and uh, as I said earlier if the purpose is to make to create depth maps make sure your stereo pair is as aligned as possible you will get much better results all right so that's it for today uh, if you like this type of, type of video feel free to uh, subscribe to my channel and i will most likely make more okay so bye bye for now